Hey everyone, welcome to Sim Chat. It's Tracy and um, happy Mother's Day. And I know I said that on Crochet Rocks, but you might not be on Crochet Rocks. So happy Mother's Day to everyone who celebrates it. And those of you um, who it's not Mother's Day yet, happy, birth happy birthday, <laughs> happy birthday, happy Christmas, happy New Year, happy Valentine's, happy everything, happy Mother's Day for when it is. Anyway, had a nice breakfast this morning. My my chats were a bit late. Um, I had a little veg out this morning, and then I had a, a bath, and then I washed my hair, and it's all still wet. Um, and then when I got out of the bath, breakfast was ready. So, um, and then I had a nice long phone call with Mike. So it's a bit late, but better late than never, as they say. So we had goose egg this morning with I uh, dipped bacon in. So that was yummy and uh lots of tea um i've got pork again for bre for dinner um i need to use it up and basically there's a fair amount of fatty fattiness in it and i don't think that's really good for gary he's supposed to be doing slimming world and so i did cook chicken legs as well yesterday so he can have he's got to take the last of the pasta but we can maybe if he wants to have lunch you can have some chicken so uh, I need, uh, I don't know if he's got noodles to make as well. I'm not sure. I think he has. There's a recipe that he saw online that he wants to try. So yeah, but he's got the last of his, because the trouble is, you know, when I made the pasta bake, that's a big one and it's, there's only one of him. I'm not eating that sort of stuff. I'm doing keto, low carbon, and he's doing Slim and Well. So I told him to freeze some, but he didn't. Anyway, so um, he's got <laughs> he's he's going to take that to work. I might do a live stream this evening. Um, I don't know what time. It might even be afternoon. Not really sure of what's going on. You know, uh, it's whatever the mood would take me. Pardon me. So watch out for that. And um, so yeah, pork. <laughs> I'm a little bit. I, I had pork and veg. And that's you know getting a bit samey so there's not really much else I can do with it unfortunately because um it's not like I can say oh you know I have pork and beans because I can't have beans so um it's pork and veg again probably although you know I have to say I do like it there's a there's an advert on tv at the moment that says I like meat and true veg I have meat and true veg every day so um I'm feeling like <laughs> I'm feeling like that's me. And I'm sorry for you guys across the pond who don't know that advert. But wow. You think yourself lucky, basically. <laughs> I like meat and two veg. So yeah, that's me at the moment. Me meat and two veg every day. Can't wait for the day where I have steak and a bit of a mixed grill. Break up it on some fish. Can I have some fishies? Break up the meat and two veg bit it's more to keto the meat and two veg but i need to use it up so not at that moment <laughs> that's all there is so yeah um lovely day out there nice and sunny good for a walk might do that a bit later but if i can be asked and get off my butt i didn't get off my butt at all yesterday i just <laughs> did nothing i hurt my hand I, I did say this on crochet rocks and i'm sorry if you've already heard it but the other day burnt my fingers and then a separate injury earlier than earlier on i sprained my thumb so um i can't really do much so all i did was listen to um spotify and stuff and i did a few sorted out a few playlists which you know linked it up to my speaker and let rip with some noise which was good so yeah i listen to more music now than i have for a long long time but yeah, I don't know. So yeah, uh, nothing really much else to do around here at the moment. Oh no, there is. There's all this tidying up. But I've reached a bit of stalemate. And um, until Gary finishes off a few cupboards, there's not much I can do. You know, I can't put nothing else away. All we're doing is moving it around. It's like, tidy this room up, but we move it there. So then we tidy that up and we move it back to there. And then that's what's happening. It's kind of like chess. We're playing playing chess 
with all the stuff at the moment and until there's a bathroom cabinet on the wall I can't put stuff away in there until there's the shelving uh, and cupboards in the bedroom I can't do any more in there and <laughs> same in the kitchen and so yeah and I need to I need to get a kind of cupboard storagey kind of but nice unit for the front room because you know at the moment there's nowhere to put things like photo albums and we all want to keep those um you know the stuff that you go to the cupboard and get out at the moment it's in boxes or in a bag and usually ends up shoved in the bedroom and it's don't belong there you know so uh, we do need somewhere for the storage and we would we would keep saying about putting the tv on the wall i'm not sure i like looking up to watch tv but it'd be easier and you know tyler when he was um first started moving was terrible for banging tvs and i went i mean just going up and going do 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 like this you know he loved a good bang and uh, no amount of no was going to stop him so uh you know on the wall is probably <laughs> probably the best place I don't think he's still a banger but he might be yeah I think you know I don't know but then there are other babies there are other babies coming along who just might bang so it'd probably be safer up there and out of the way and um you know then we can get like maybe a unit with cupboard doors and bang them <laughs> but you know at least we can put stuff away you know things that keep saying you know I've noticed that. No more your nose for me. That's it. I'm all you know now. So I had a few um, deliveries today. Um, bought this new charger. I didn't bring it in for the phone. Oh, here's one. This was meant to be one of those with the smaller slots. You know, the little micro USB thing. But it's not. But I thought, should I send it back? No, actually, you know what? I'll keep that. Because whereas I've got all these plugs in here, I could just have this one. And it takes five. Four, sorry. It takes four. Obviously, seeing double. <laughs> but I don't know what the orange one is. Does anyone know why one of them's orange? Is that the speedy one? Are they all speedy? I can't see it. I don't understand it. Why is one orange? Anyone have a clue? educate me so anyway i ordered a new one but it's not got four slots it's i just there was one that was that had the smaller ones and it just there was two of them so i figured i'd order that one gary can have one i'll have one i've got that one and mike gave me one of those micro ones so i'll have two gary will have one that's and then i'll have that one for all the other bits uh, that take those kind of plugs so yeah i should be sorted it would be good if they did one of those micro ones that had four slots. I could have got that. As long as they work with Apple products. Otherwise, you know, so far they do. So far, so good. But it's annoying that they don't put them in the phone anymore. You know, like when you open the box, there's no plug in it. They do the lead. They give you this bit. But the actual thing that goes in the socket, <clears throat> they don't give you. And I went out, looked on the website and it said, we stopped putting the plug in the box because we figured everybody's got plugs. Yeah, well, they don't last forever. You know, they deteriorate. So when you get a new product, you should have a new plug, as far as I'm concerned. Plus, my old phone took this. It was an iPhone 8, and it took this. So if, if Mike hadn't got one of those <clears throat> knocking around that he didn't need and had no use for, I wouldn't have had one at all. It was only sheer luck that um, he gave me that one, and I had it. Funny thing was, I knew I had a lead for it somewhere and um, found the lead. So um, a couple of the other phones that I had worked with that lead. So I used to use that uh, charger socket thingy plug <coughs> adapter. I don't know what they're called. Thingy. So, yeah, that's enough of plugs anyway. But, you know, I do think it's a bit naughty that they don't put them in the box anymore. It should at least give you the one. They're not. It's not like they're cheap phones, is it? It's like they're not charging you the the earth for them, and probably making a grand a time out of every phone. But that's Apple for you. Well, I don't know if it, no, it's not just Apple, because the Samsung didn't have one either, and that's just as bad. So, what else have I got to tell you today? Um, 
oh yes Gary's asked me to make him my tuna bake which um, I well I used to make the kids when they were younger and when I first met Gary and I told him about it he went oh don't ever make me that I won't like it and I said okay I won't then <laughs> so I kept making it for the boys you know we didn't live together then and he always said but you never bring me a bit and I'm like, you just told me you wouldn't like it so why would you want a bit anyway one day he was around my house and I'd made one so he said oh, I'll have a bit so, and he went, that's really nice, I like that. So I said, I thought you said you hate tuna and, and things like that. Went, yeah, but I like that. So I make it for him from time to time. So he's asked me to make him one. And he said the chicken fajita pasta bake, when he first tasted it, he said, nice, but it's not as good as a tuna bake. But then when he took it to work last night, he said, it was really nice. So what I think it was, it was probably, he'd just come back from hospital, he was in a rush, it had just been made. Sometimes things are better as they marinading themselves you know anyway he really liked it now but he said well i'll make him a tuna pasta bait so i might film it which he means another slimming world uh compatible recipe rather than a keto one i've got two tuna pastas that i make one is a hot one and one is a cold one but the cold one can be warmed up and mike used to love it warm um and, and cold so i'll do both at some point but I do need to find some keto ones because that's the diet I'm following. Never mind. All recipes is good, I guess. So I'll put that up at some point. Uh, feeling a bit better today. I was well, really moody yesterday. Um, so much so that I couldn't have faced doing a YouTube. I went into Granny D's live for a little while. And uh, I can't remember if I went into someone else's first day was a bit of a blur I think it was just you know I'd reached a point where I just couldn't couldn't carry on the way I was and I had a meltdown day and then the next day I thought I'm having a break and that's what I did I had a break for myself and um everything and <laughs> just 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 vegged out did nothing and you know that was it yep anyway never mind Played with my phone, listened to the music and, you know, had a, had an evening of nothing to do. Well, it was very nice. It made me realise the pace of my life, and which is ridiculous considering it's lockdown. There should be no pace. But the pace of my life has always been in the fast lane. You know, ever since I had children, you know, my life was... At one point, it was so much more than it is now, obviously. Everything was by the clock. You got up, you took the kids to school, you had this to do, you had that to do, you got back, pick one up, and then you had to come back, and then you had to go and pick the other one up, and then you had to make tea, and then you had to do this. and then... So everything was... And then from that moment on, life was always like that. But, you know, run this one here, run that one there, you got the work to do, you had your job, you know, work, fitting everything around the work, and... So life has always been at a ridiculous pace, but I think, you know, there's some, there comes a time when you just need to have a little, little shut off, a little, little time for yourself. Anyway, <clears throat> I usually like it, to be honest. I usually like the adrenaline, I think, normally speaking, but there comes a time when it's too much. <laughs> and I hit, hit the wall. So anyway... Normal service is now resumed. And I'm going to go because I haven't got anything else to tell you. Um, my order still hasn't arrived that I ordered from um, the company I want to review next. I'm not going to say what it is until it comes. But that's not come yet. I had an email saying that they were going to be dispatching it. But I haven't actually um, had it yet. And I've got to sit down write myself a few lists i've got my big to-do pad around here somewhere and i'm going to write on there all the things that i need to chase up all the things i need to do and um make sure that i don't forget anything because you know there's just so much for uh, you know for going on that i've got to do for for this person for that person and, and chase up this refund and chase up that and i'll forget at the moment so I'm going to start writing me some lists. It's theory, if I can ever find the pad. 
that's usually what happens. I'll put it down somewhere. <laughs> Gonna do it, you know, best intentions. So thanks for watching. Stay safe, everyone. Take care. It's nearly over. And uh, Jab's coming up soon. So um, it better be, uh, better stay away until I get stuck by the needle of, of much anticipation. So bye for now. Stay safe, take care, and I'll see you soon. Watch out for that live stream. Bye for now.